Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, we are discussing about the nutrition. So far in our past videos, we discussed the, the nutrition in human, uh, the human nutrition. So today let's discuss the nutrition in a plant. So specifically, we'll start with the essential mineral element required in a plant nutrition. So here, yeah, basically we'll be talking about the various uh, necessary minerals elements that are required for the plant growth and the development. So the mineral requirement in plant growth are just categorized into two main groups. There are micronutrients or the minerals or in the second one are the macronutrients. The macronutrients, these are the minerals that are required in large quantity for the plant growth. They include the minerals or nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, magnesium, calcium, hydrogen, and oxygen. While the micronutrients, these are nutrients that are required in a small amount for the plant growth. They include the iron, cobalt, fluoride, silicon, iodine, copper, and zinc. So from there, you can see the difference between the micronutrients and the macronutrients. The macronutrients are the nutrients or minerals that are required in large quantity for the plant growth, while the micronutrients, these are the nutrients that are required in small amount for the plant growth. Moving on, discussing these essential mineral elements uh, for the plant growth and the development, we'll be seeing the various mineral elements. Uh, they are various laws for the plant growth and development, and they are deficiencies. So, we we'll start with the first one that is the nitrogen. The role of nitrogen to the plant nutrition is that enables the protein uh, synthesis. The second one that it enables the manufacture of the chlorophyll. Uh, this chlorophyll is, is important for the process of photosynthesis. The third one that nitrogen, it promotes the normal plant growth. So all these three are just some of the laws of the nitrogen for the plant nutrition. The deficiency of the nitrogen, uh, it could lead to the leaves become pale green, yellow, small leaves, thin, weak stem, and distanted growth. So these are just there as some of the deficiencies. Let's see the second mineral element, that is phosphorus. The various laws of phosphorus for the plant nutrition, they include as follows. The first one that phosphorus promotes the growth uh, uh, of root and branch. The second one is that if the, the phosphorus it enables the protein synthesis uh, and the energy release in the respiration. The efficiencies of the phosphorus uh, they include the poor growth of the roots, leaves, and the branches. Also, the leaves become reddish purple. So, these are just they are the deficiencies of the phosphorus. The third one is the potassium. The role of the potassium for the plant nutrition or for the plant growth is that the numbers or it is just used during photosynthesis and the protein metabolism in the younger leaves. While the deficiencies of the potassium may include the yellow leaves with the dead spots, especially at the margarines and the tips. The other essential mineral element is the calcium. The laws of the calcium include that it promotes normal plant growth and cell wall formation, while the deficiencies include that there is poor root growth and death of the growing regions. So all these two are just some of the deficiencies that could be resulted uh, due to lack of the calcium in a plant. Last not least, the magnesium. The law of the magnesium for the plant, it enables the manufacture of the chlorophyll, why the deficiency of the magnesium uh, can be seen as the yellowing of the leaves. So all these are just few of the essential mineral elements that are required for the plant growth and development. They are laws for the plant nutrition and they are deficiencies. So basically, I guess, thank you for listening. So far, we've started discussing about the plant nutrition. We've seen the difference between the macronutrients and the micronutrients. We've seen the uh, vivid examples. We have later on discussed this, some of the important or essential mineral elements required for the plant nutrition, their laws and their deficiencies. Thank you.